Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're talking about neurodiversity, specifically the ADHD witching hour. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about the witching hour. Let's start by looking at what people mean by the term, then we'll get into how that name came about. The witching hour sounds like it could be really fun. Black cats, flying brooms, making potions, but actually it's a term used to describe a particular time of day when people with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD, often experience a surge in their ADHD related behaviors. This is usually in the late afternoon or perhaps early evening when transitions from places like school to home or from work to dinner, ADHD brains process things differently when it comes to attention, impulsivity, and executive functioning. And these differences can be especially pronounced during the witching hour. For instance, your ability to regulate your behavior and emotions can become more challenging. Like it might be hard to stop yourself from crying over things that wouldn't ordinarily bother you. Or it might be hard to stop yourself from going on a shopping trip for some retail therapy, even though you can't really afford it. The witching hour can exacerbate existing symptoms that are already hard to control, making it difficult to focus tasks that need to get done. The witching hour can be particularly challenging for children with ADHD who are not taking assistive medication or who are taking shorter acting medications. As the medication wears off, their symptoms may become more pronounced, leading to frustration, anxiety, and a sense that things are overwhelming or out of control. To make things even worse, parents and caregivers are probably already exhausted from their own demands at that time of the day, leading to a lack of patience and understanding. Adults with ADHD may experience a decline in cognitive functioning, including decreased focus, motivation, and productivity. They may also become more irritable, anxious, or even forgetful during this transitional time. It can be particularly challenging for adults who are trying to complete work or other responsibilities later on in the day. Say you work a second job or have personal tasks that needed to be attended to later on during that time span. For adults with ADHD, understanding their individual patterns of exacerbation can be critical to understanding how their brains work and what's really manageable and realistic to accomplish in a day. Let's look a little bit into where this name came from. For starters, it wasn't a term originally meant to refer to ADHD specifically. The first time we see the term witching hour in text is in the 1700s, but it might have been used as far back as the 1500s when the Catholic Church prohibited activities during certain times of the day. It's also important to note that the term witching hour can refer to things in other areas too, like in the stock market where there's an increase in activity just before the market closes, or in reference to gun violence. Certain cities use the term witching hour to refer to periods in the night of higher crime expectancy. It's likely that the witching hour as we know it now for ADHD grew out of how the term was used to apply to infants who often have periods of unexplainable crying during the day. Most of the information out there about this whole concept of the witching hour is in parenting books on neurodiversity, and it's mostly anecdotal. Really, we need more scientific information about the witching hour, but I suspect it will be referred to as something else, perhaps the ADHD crash or even the ADHD slump. We do have far more research that looks at possible explanations or reasoning behind the witching hour. One of the biggest is the high correlation between ADHD and circadian rhythm disorders. It's extremely common for people with ADHD to have either delayed sleep schedules or trouble sleeping at all, so it could be that the witching hour is a natural outcome of those sleep difficulties. It's also highly likely that those kind of big behaviors we see with the witching hour are associated with stress. The noradrenergic system, which helps regulate stress, is one of the big areas of current scientific investigation into ADHD. 
So some discoveries to help us better understand the witching hour might be just around the corner. If you want to know more about ADHD or some of the other things that make brains different, check out our Autism and Neurodiversity playlist. Or if you want to know more about other psychological terms, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! It's been a rough day. I'm gonna need at least an hour and a half.